Welcome back to Catherine Backyard Garden. Uh, today I wanted to do an, uh, an update on my uh, cucumbers, squash, zucchini, and loofah. Now, as you can see, I have those shelves uh, stacked against the fence that I got out of the trash for free. And um, the cucumbers are doing exactly what I want them to do. I want them to run up the trellis and that way I'll have a clean interest to go in there and pick my cucumbers. The cucumbers will not be lying on the ground or hiding under the leaves and uh, it would be a clean walkway. And um, so I am very well pleased with that. As you can see, I have some squash that planted in the middle of the bed and I like that as well because I can go in there and get my squash and, um, and pick my squash out of the garden. So it's a clean interest going into my uh, squash uh, garden. Now, as you can see, I have an umbrella there. Now, I love the umbrella better than I do the shade cloth. Um, I'm using the umbrella because it's easy to uh, put it up and it's easy to put it down. You know, because not all the time that your vegetable um, need the shade cloth because sometimes the vegetable needs to get some sun. So uh, when it gets too hot, you can just uh, let down the umbrella and when uh, you need the umbrella, you just push it up again. So I like the umbrella better than I do the shade cloth. So um, I am very well pleased with this bed. Um, as you can see, I got some patty pan uh, squash right there. And um, um, I'm gonna pick those squash because I think they are ready to come out of the vine. Now, in the corner there, in the bucket, you know, I had some issues uh, with the uh, squash that in the bucket. You know, it seems like it was not uh, pollinating the way that I think it should be pollinated. But you know, Mother Nature has a way of doing her own thing. It's not about me, it's about Mother Nature. So, um, um, you know, when I stop being so concerned, um, then things began to change. Now, am I gonna do the same thing next year? Absolutely not. I'm gonna try something different. So, um, um, yeah, the uh, squash and the buckets are doing well. You know, and it still has a lot of time to grow. Now, as you can see, I have some plants that I plant above the buckets to draw the pollinators over that side of the yard. Um, so, yeah, I may, I think I will be doing something a little bit different. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it over that side because, you know, what I can s learn about squash uh, from my garden is that uh, squash likes shade at some time. Here in South Carolina, it gets entirely too hot. So, um, yes, I will keep them in the bucket over this side, but I would do a little something different. Um, I also have the, like I said before, I have the flowers that I planted in the basket up there. I also have some water in one of those um, uh, basket up there uh, because from what I can understand, you, you need to put out some water. That would draw pollinators also. So yes, I am very well pleased uh, with my garden. Um, you know, everything is looking wonderful. So guys, I want to, you know, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch my video. I really do appreciate it. And if you have not yet hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. 
give a thumbs up and leave a comment. I really, really, really do appreciate it. And you can also share my video as well. You have a, a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video.